Check this out. I mean, why not? Yeah, I, I saved one for you. I saved one for you. <laughs> <Go fishing. laughs> Hey. What's up, my man? How you doing? Man? Thanks for having us over today. It's a pleasure. Thanks for coming. What a what an awesome spot. Yeah, yeah. We've got a we've got a beautiful venue here. Yeah, Cobo, one of the one of the greatest little venues right on Prospect Street here in La Jolla. Yep, yep. It's so cool. It's a it, we're really a hidden gem, so I see a bunch of really, really fun, decorative, just colorful stuff. Tell me about what's yeah. going on. So what we do here at Cobo is we we I, we design our menus based on the season. So you're gonna find whatever you find here is product that's available now. You know what awesome. I mean? So I'm not gonna have items that, that, that aren't on the menu that, you know, that should be on the summer. What we're gonna do today is I'm gonna take a little bit of beans and you're gonna keep an eye on this for me, okay? You got it, man. If you burn yeah. it, it's on you. I can barbecue, <laughs> but I'm gonna do my best, man. All right, so we're gonna have a little bit of beans on here. Okay. And you know, really the, the idea of, of making this dish, okay. which is one of our popular dishes on our lounge menu, it's our, our main diver scallops that we saute really lightly, wow. okay. finish it with a little bit of, uh, of a butter. Okay. Um, but we're also gonna incorporate some beans and things that you know you don't typically find when you make scallops, you know, okay. I, I don't know if people make scallops at home, I do every once in a while, but when we make scallops, we use uh, what we call a succotash. Um, succotash? A succotash, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we'll put bacon, we'll put bell peppers, we'll put corn. In this case, I'm using beans instead of the bacon, so I'm gonna add that. Okay. I'm also gonna add some corn because I need to cook this off. Beautiful. And I'm gonna go ahead and give you that and Got just kind of give that a stir for me. Okay. Don't be afraid, don't be afraid. Get in there, yeah, don't be afraid. I'm in there, I'm yeah, in there. there you go, get in there, get in there, get in there. I'm gonna add some peas. My and wife also, would be we wanna this. season. You always okay. wanna season stuff. Okay. Um, so we'll let in that saute for a little bit. When it's done, we're just gonna put it on the plate. It's simple, it's ready to go. We've pre-cooked our beans already. Okay. So, you know, you don't, My you're not messing stir? around. Yep, okay. there you go. You can oh. learn how to do that. <laughs> Let me try that. Add a little bit of oil, just so it won't, it won't stick to you. Oh yeah, look at that. Exactly like you, man. Yeah, kind of, <laughs> sort of, right? Tell us a little bit about what Cove was all about. Yeah, all definitely, about. It, definitely. It's a venue. Yes. Um, I know you guys have some live music Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Correct. So Correct. kind of tell me a little bit about what's going on here. Sure. So primarily we're an event, we're an event center, and we do okay. focus a lot on high-end weddings, uh, corporate events, Christmas parties, you know, things like that. Um, that's kind of our big draw. On the, on, the, on the evenings where we don't have events going on, we'll bring in live entertainment. And when I say we bring in live entertainment, we're bringing top-notch players that come in here, okay. and they're doing a phenomenal job. Everything from jazz to Latin music okay. to opera, I mean, you name it, we got it. Awesome. Um, we, offer a, we offer a, a small menu okay. to go with that, a lounge menu, if you will. Okay. Um, that's very seasonal, and this is kind of where the focus is with the, with the things that we're doing today. So got it. Um, we'll do scallops, we'll do uh, flat iron steak, we've okay. got flatbreads, we've got a pizza oven right here in the back behind you, right Beautiful. there. And okay. our flatbreads, we make our own pizza dough. Everything is made in house. Got That's it. another thing. Nothing okay. is from a okay. nothing is from a can that they can pull out of a box. Everything is made scratch in house. So that's awesome. I mean, one thing that I noticed when I walked in here, yep. this kitchen is spotless. Yeah, I'm, that's kind of my mom's fault. I'm, that's a little, I'm a little OCD. I like that. Um, I've got to have everything clean. My philosophy is this, and this is what I tell my guys: you cannot produce, and it's impossible. You cannot produce impeccable food in a dirty kitchen. The both have to go hand in hand. You know okay. what I mean? So you got to have a clean kitchen first, and then be able to produce beautiful food. So I love it, man. That's my philosophy. I've lived with it forever. That's how I'm going to go. That's so <laughs> cool. Yeah, I mean, tell me a little bit about like your background. I know that you were sure. at the Marine Room. I had met you there back in the day. Yes. You were there for a bunch of years, and then how long have you been here, and how long you've been cooking? And talk to me about that. I like to say I've had the privilege and the honor to to have worked with Chef Bernard Guias. Yeah. Um, he's kind of my my culinary papa, if you will. That's what awesome. we call. That's what I call him when I see him. I say, Papa, how you doing? And he calls me his son. Um, he he took my he took my my what I already had going in, in McCullough and every to a different level. Okay. Um, he showed me things that I had never seen before. Uh, I had the privilege of working with him for nine, almost nine years, um, which in the French world is like thirty years. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's intense. It, it really is intense. Um, it was great, but it was time for me to move on. It was time for me to do my own thing. Good for you. And so I did, and uh, I've, I've been nothing but successful what because a... of that. Okay, so what do we got going on next? All right, so I've got some scallops. Scallops Main diver awesome. scallops. Okay. And, and by again, the way, I never cook those at home. You know, so. all right, anyway, well, you're going to learn how to do that right today. Now. Yeah, you're going to learn today. So you want to cook them medium rare. And it's okay to eat a diver scallop medium rare. It really it. is. Okay. If it's fresh and it's straight out of the ocean, from the ocean to the table, good you're to good go. to go. Okay. okay. So we're just going to put those in there. Okay. Don't be scared. I'm you're not. You're good. 
I got you. I'm here. No, I know. <laughs> okay. Wow. And just like everything else, we season. Okay. So just a little salt and pepper. And as you, you don't, say, not too much. Yeah. And you don't have to go crazy with, oh, I want to put pistachios on here, and I want to put raisins. No, keep it simple. You want to taste scallop. Okay. Cool. When, I, when I bite into a scallop, what do you want to taste? Scallop, right? Got it. And see if you can flip those. So I'm flipping just, just okay. Yeah. So, okay. So it's a little <laughs> yeah. stuck to the pan. So what's okay. stuck to the pan, okay. see that grease that's right there? Yes. The oil drip that we use? Drip it down to it. Drip it down to it. Okay. Yeah. Drip it down to it. Kind of let it get in there. And we're just going to let it cook a little bit longer because they weren't done yet. So again, so going back to Kobo, so um, we've got it all. We can do it all. We've got a, we've got a dynamic crew here. Um, our sales director um, is amazing. She's phenomenal. Cruz. She, yeah, Cruz. she's awesome. Yeah. She's, you know, you know <laughs> yeah, what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. I talked yeah. to Cruz. Yeah. There you go. She knows what she's doing. She's, she's been in the industry long enough. Um, and, and of course, Mike, our uh, main investor, the guy's phenomenal. He's really easy to work with. Um, he's like, Augie, you do what you want to do. That's awesome. You know what I mean? And so that's what makes it fun here. That's what makes it exciting. Um, and again, we're, we're here to serve. I know that you guys did the Maserati the Ferrari grand opening yeah, in Kearney Mesa. Yeah, 650 did. people. Yep. How was that? Oh, it was amazing. It was fantastic. Just looking at the combination of the cars okay. and the food put together, it was an art and all in itself. Oh, you know, man. it was just phenomenal to watch. Okay. It really was phenomenal awesome. to watch. Well, hey, man, I want to say thank you so much for having my us pleasure, out. My pleasure, my uh, pleasure. Thanks for coming in. Check this out. I mean, why not? Yeah, I, I saved one for you. I saved one for you. <laughs> <laughs> that wraps it up for me. Hey, let me know in the comments below where you'd like me to tour next in Pacific Beach and La Jolla. I'd be happy to do that. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That way you'll get notified about all the new great videos as they come out.